On today's episode, we're gonna cover a redesign of this website. This is a resume writing service that Flux Academy students did, and we're gonna pick five winners, and those winners were actually going to build those sites and A-B test them against each other to see which one is not only the best design, but actually converts the best for this business. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey friends, what is up? So every month we are having a web design challenge for our students in Flux Academy, but this month, December, was actually a special month because we had a company reach out to us. The company is Top Stack Resume, which does a resume writing service, and they've asked to have our students do multiple redesigns for their website so that we can A-B test them to see which is the best redesign. And of course, the winner of the most converting website will actually get paid by the business owner. So this is really, really interesting project. And I wanna cover the top five that I chose. We had like over 30 applications from our students. But before we dive into it, let, let me show you the website. So this is actually currently the, the website and most people who land on this website, it might look a little bit overwhelming because it has lots of data here. And then you scroll down, shows you what they're doing. This site is a little bit overwhelming. However, most most of the people who visit this website convert within like one or a few days. So th this website already is converting. So we're gonna try to see how can we improve this. And I think the challenge is going to be, if you look at this, it is overwhelming because there is so much data here, right? A lot of things are just jumping in your face. However, there's a lot of things here that kind of reduces risk, like, you know, uh, great reviews uh, based in the US, donations, risk-free. There's a lot of things here that are based to reduce your risk, right? A lot of logos of really great companies. So I think the main challenge here is going to be, how are we going to make this a little bit more clean and minimalized so that people will have better user experience going through this? However, we need to keep those kind of like security signals or trust building signals here so that people will still keep buying. So that is the challenge. Now, before I'm gonna dive into the top five that I chose to run with this A-B testing, I actually wanna show you some of the examples that didn't make the cut because I think this is really important to talk about, you know, what to think about when you're designing or redesigning a landing page because some of the, some of the redesigns kind of missed Cute, like really key things that I think that you should keep in mind. So let me show you some redesigns that didn't make the cut. Um, here's one example, and this is just, no, you land on this and it says, magnify your profile, explore your dream career. And you see kind of a magnifying glass and you see a person. Now this, there is no call to action or any other subtext, you can scroll to learn more, and there's a button place order, but what am I buying here? So this website kind of took it so minimalistically that I don't even know what the service is. They're, they don't even tell me what the service is. They decided to keep this accredited business badge, but again, I'm, I'm completely lost at what is this website for. Um, another example is this one. This one, it looks beautiful, right? There's a nice image, um, like the layout is basically good. There's good hierarchies here and it says, let's get you hired. We help you boost your chances of landing a dream job. But then how, like, what are you doing? What is the actual, they don't even say like we do resume writing. It just doesn't say anything like get started. Who is going to click, get started doing what? I, I don't even know, or how are you gonna get me hired? So again, this is a redesign that looks well, but it's very confusing and it won't help people purchase, make purchasing decisions because the, they lack actually the, the right information about this. Um, the last one that I wanna show you is this one. It says, succeed more by having a right resume designed to help you get more interviews and succeeded in the next phase of your career and then build your resume. This, this is confusing. This kind of feels like maybe a SaaS service of web resume building. Maybe it's kind of like a template and I drag element, or maybe it's a design software because it mentioned that, you know, if, if my resume is designed to get me more interviews, so maybe this is something about design. So again, these redesigns are actually a little bit confusing me versus helping me understand what am I buying here. So those are some of the reasons that I didn't choose them. So 
I'll, I'll get you back to, this is what we were trying to uh, redesign. There's good image here in the background, but too many things going on here. Um, let's see some of the five redesigns that I like. So let's actually start with this. This is a redesign by um, Matias and um, basically says, we write your resume so you get more interviews. So you, you, get un you understand what they're doing. You understand you know, what the benefit is. It's very clean, like nice, pretty woman looking directly at you. Color combination is solid. You know, blue, dark blue is very kind of like business um, in a combination with orange, like so very solid color palette. Um, get your resume now. Um, I'm not sure that actually tells me to purchase now, but it's very, very clean. Um, you get straight into logos, which are very nice and clean, not one on top of the other, like in the original design, you scroll down and you get some more reason to work with them. So they've kind of like built out the trust factors in phases. They didn't just put them all in your face in one moment. They kind of built them into a sequence, right? Pay after you've done, um, US base, unlimited revisions. And then you get to client testimonials, um, our five step process. So what I like about this, this is very clean. It takes you through the process as you scroll. They're not dumping too much information at you all at the time. It's very, very clean and simple, very good hierarchies, very minimalistic color palette, um, very clear, you know, pricing packages. I'd maybe put in some kind of hierarchy uh, because, you know, if this is recommended, I'd only show one buy button in very strong blue. The fact that I have here four buy buttons is a little bit disoriented. Maybe all of these buttons, I would make them kind of like ghost buttons, which means just the outline um, I would show them just to create more emphasis on the, the button that you actually wanna get people to uh, buy on. Um, but overall, I think this is a very, um, very, very clean and well-designed um, redesign and I'd love to see how this one performs. Now the next one, um, let's go through here. So the next one was done by Dang, and this one here, uh, they they kept the same image, the same original image, but changed the layout so that you can focus on the text and you can see the image. Um, the image I think is good, right? You see somebody shaking the hand of somebody, you can imagine that maybe it's the first day in her job, so she just got a job, so that's nice. Get more interviews and succeed in your next phase of your career. Now note here, I think what Dang did is interesting. This this layout looks still very clean. You know, the hierarchies are clear, you see the image first, and then you get this font, which is a very like nice, elegant um, serif font, which kind of makes this looks premium, right? It looks like it's, it's, you know, it's established and, and it creates trust, I think, using this kind of a font in this context. He did manage to keep, you know, the high score rating and this badge that you pay only after you're satisfied. So there are some trust factors here, even though the design as it is looks pretty clean and, and not too overwhelming. So I like this. We scroll down, then we get to the see the logos and you can see extended list, so that's nice. Um, then another section about why choose you. So photos of real people, I like this, I like this. Um, another section dedicated only to customer success. Now they've put a video here um, that I don't think the original, they have here like two videos. I don't think the original site had two videos, so I don't know if they'll be able to actually put a video here um, when they're testing this in, in a few weeks, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, the redesign the how it works, so step one, step two, step three very clean pricing. And you can see what I've talked about earlier when they're recommending this pro and the selected plan is very different from all the other ones. I would actually make the text here black just to create more contrast here. I think the text is is getting lost. But otherwise, I think the design, this redesign by, by Dang is very, very premium, which I think will kind of even help um, selling this. So I think this is also a very, very good redesign. All right, the third redesign that I wanna show you was designed by Bass. And this redesign, we're actually seeing the person looking at us, which is nice. It creates kind of a immediately emotional connection. Professional, 
resume writing service. This is very clear. At the top, you know what they're doing. Um, you see a lot of the trust factors, right? Trust pilot, uh, you see the rated 60 day. So BAS managed to keep a lot of the trust factors inside while not overwhelming because the hierarchies are still very clear. You look at the woman first, you see the title, and then you see the button. And in the bat button, he added the pay after your 100 percent satisfied to the button. So think about that. That really is actually a smart move. Not a lot of people would just, you know, make a very long button. And I'm not sure that it always works. However, when you put it here, um, it does kind of feel like it's it's risk free, right? I'm, I'm going to place the order, but I'm not going to pay yet. So I think this is very likely to to be high converting. Bas also put this kind of like top bar here with even more trust factor, but some of them are kind of basically repeating what he has here. So I'd like, I just scroll. I don't know if we need this top bar uh, because I find it a little repetitive, but um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, he, he also added here, all the writers are based in United Kingdom. Um, explored more kind of like the benefits in kind of a more long form article. Um, type thing where you can actually see the, the CV. And then I'm not really sure why he did this. He, I, I guess he tried to minimize what you're seeing because there's four different pr price packaging, but he's not showing all of them. My gut feeling is if you hide it under where people have to click, maybe they're not gonna click. Most likely they're not gonna click. However, you know, let me see what is the left, right, the left one is the basic one. So he left out the basic ones, which is probably the cheapest one. So my bet is this will push people more into the more expensive packages, which might not be a bad thing, right? If you reduce what people focus on, you make them focus on the more expensive thing. Maybe that's actually a good thing. Um, more of the features here, and then the FAQ, um, some more trust factors, some more testimonials and reviews, and then finishing up with another dream dream person that got their dream job so it's it's very nice i think this is a really very very solid redesign um i think he managed to keep a lot of the data without minimizing too much while making it way more cleaner um and, and well thought out and all right so the next one is from juhi and juhi took another approach basically she started with rather than a very, very short uh, title, like, you know, four letter professional resume writing, four words, or maybe what we had here, like here we had three, three lines, but she actually made like a, a chunk of paragraph that says, we perfect your resume, cover letter, LinkedIn profile, and more so that you can do what you're best at doing your job. So while this is long, I actually like titles that give you all the content and tell a little bit of the story. So I actually like this also with, the, with the photographs, she kind of made a collage of people being interviewed, people maybe writing your resume and, and people maybe reviewing it or, so I, I think there's a nice way here to kind of tell more of the story of what's going to happen, what are you buying, what is the outcome? So I like this, um, which it, w what is weird from, I'm not sure if it's weird, but um, Juhi chose to put here view pricing. So that's, she kind of added another step instead of just buy now because she didn't, she didn't put a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of trust factors. She did put uh, pay after you're done and 100% satisfied, but she added another step. So you first view pricing and only then you purchase versus all of the rest, including the current site, which just directly sent you to checkout. I'm, I'm actually curious to see how that will perform. Um, note, she didn't use, you know, any of the logos or other trust factor. Immediately, she was kind of like, say goodbye to your job hunting. She kind of arranged it in very techy uh, features kind of way. And then services where probably I assume this uh, left menu is probably sticky while you th scroll through all the different services here. And then, and then you get into the more, I guess, trust building section, which is what our customer says. And you see the logos here. And then you get into the pricing packages. I actually think it's a little bit long to see all of the features before you even get here. And we also have, 
we also have the problem which we talked about before where you're not really directing me, you're not really telling me what to do. And uh, from experience, whenever you tell people directly what to do, there's more chances that they'll do it. And if you want to convert them into something specific, uh, just make something more prominent so that we'll know what to choose or know what your recommendation is. Um, all right, so that was Juhi's redesign. And the last one is from Celine. Now, Celine, this is really beautiful redesign, um, kind of similar uh, to Matthias in, in the color scheme, dark blue and orange. She is suffering from what we've covered before where it doesn't, the title, the title here doesn't really say what it is, right? Stand out in today's hiring, get more interviews. She doesn't say this is uh, resume writing, uh, but she does, but I, I, will, I think we'll, we will change this because the redesign itself, and we're gonna cover it, is so good that I do wanna test out this redesign, but we've, we gotta put more context into what this site is in the, in the title here because you're not just gonna click order now if you don't even understand what, what it is that you're buying. Um, but she started with the video, she put the customer reviews here and all the risk-free and still maintained a very, very clean layout that feels feels very clean, very trustworthy, uh, logos coming right afterwards. Um, then I, I think this redesign is really great. I mean, the layout makes it fun. The hierarchies you go and you read one after another, you see the services, it's very readable with this list and the icon. Uh, I, I think the, the design here is, again, very, very good. I think the only thing here, again, as we've covered before, very clean, which one is the recommend, which one you should click. This one has very clear differentiation from the other two. So I think a lot of things here in this redesign are beautiful, they work very well. She made a very good um, use of the very minimal palette that you chose. So I, I really, really like this and I think this will actually do very well considering that we will change the title. All right, so those are the five winners. We're gonna link below. They've made presentation explaining the process be behind their redesign. So I encourage you to go through them and, and read them and, and check them out. You will learn more about their thinking process. Um, and I'm pretty sure you'll get some more insights. The next phase in this challenge is we're actually gonna build out this website. We're gonna put them live, we're gonna A-B test them, and we're gonna follow up in probably either a month or two to let you know who was the winner and who actually converted more. I'm actually very, very curious about this. If you wanna learn with us, if you wanna become a better web designer, check the link below to learn more about our programs. And of course, subscribe for more great YouTube content. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.